Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to this is Jada and you already know it's your girl Jada. Period. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys this drugstore makeup look. I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this makeup look and all of the products that I use. And I will link everything down in the description box below. Or if I can't find the link, I'll put where I got the product from so you guys will be able to find it. So, that's Kinsley. All up in my business. I'm not trying to go up here when I'm trying to record a video. But, if you guys want to see how I made this creation... <laughs> If you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, make sure you keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Now let's get into the video. Okay. Hey so I already did my brows off of camera. I had to record on my phone, so I'm sorry if the quality is bad because my camera died and I need to get a video out today because last week I didn't do a video Monday or Friday and I said I'm going to be posting every Monday and Friday, so I'm recording on my phone. Okay, um, I like I said, I did my brows off camera. I use the Milani Weekend Brow Pencil and it just looks like this. And I use the NYX Professional Makeup Brow Pencil. And it just looks like this. I use the NYX to like draw the outline of it. And you know, crochet it in. And I use the Milani Brow Tape Pencil to make the um the hair like strokes on my um brow. So, if you see me looking right here, it's because I'm looking in a mirror. Um, So, yeah. So, now... I'm going to go in with my eyeshadows, and I'm going to use the Nudes of New York by Maybelline eyeshadow palette, and we're going to do something like a fall look, so not too much, because y'all know I don't really be knowing how to do um these eyeshadow looks, so I got my brushes right here. I'm going to just do something really simple, because y'all, we don't want your girls to be looking like who did it and why? Okay, so um, I did a couple of brushes out. I'm not that experienced in the um, eyeshadow department, so I don't know what brush you use for what, but I'm going to use this crayon case, the blending brush, and I'm going to go in with, hmm, I'm going to go in with, wait, I didn't put no um, concealer on my eyelids. First, we're going to put concealer on our eyelids. And for concealer, we're going to use the Maybelline Superstay Active. No, it says Maybelline Superstay Concealer in the color Caramel. It says Caramel number 40. And we're just going to put some on our lids. And then we're going to use... Uh, beauty blender this is from the beauty blender is um from Sonia cashew it's from a, it's a target band so it's considered a drugstore anything from like target or walmart or walgreens is considered drugstore i'm using everything in today's video i've either gotten from walmart or target so that's why I said it's going to be a drugstore video. Which Walmart and Target has um, affordable things. And girl, even Walmart Target then started selling Ulta in there. I haven't been to a Target yet that has Ulta in it yet. But I cannot wait to go. Because girl, why would they even put an Ulta in Target? Like y'all just want a girl to spend their coin. But that's okay because I'm going to spend it. Okay. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just excited. Y'all know I love makeup and I love Target. So, girl, I'm going to go to Target and get Ulta makeup in Target. Yes. So, we're going to go in with the Creator Shade. I had this so close to my eyes, y'all, because I cannot freaking see. We're going to go in the Creator Shade and we're going to put that in our crease. It's just this soft brown shade. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with eyeshadow, but hey, now we're going to go in with our flat shader 
brush from the crayon case and we're going to try globe trouter and we're going to add that into our crease under that um that brown that under that what's that called creator I'm telling y'all i cannot fucking see okay we're going to add that in our crease just going to place that into our crease like that And then we're going to go back in with that brush that we use. And we're going to kind of like blend that in up there. We don't have any harsh lines or whatnot. Boom. Now, just to add a little boom, boom, a little shaka, laka, laka to it, we're going to um get, we're going to use, um, not that brush. I don't know what brush is used for what. But, you girl know, like, don't use, you know, yeah. I kind of know, but I don't know. We're going to use this lavish tapered blending brush to put a color right here. And I think I want to go in with something. This one, this palette has a lot of um sparkly colors. Like, this sparkle, that sparkle, that sparkle, that one, that one, and that one. So, um, it has like a really good range of colors to go to, but I'm just not that much of a sparkle girl. I'm just more of a subtle kind of girl. So I think I'm going to use Believer because it's sparkling, but it's not that much, um, that much sparkle. And I'm just going to put it on the lid right here. Like it's giving sparkle, but it's not just like boom, bitch. Okay. I'm more of a natural everyday glam type of girl not a cook crease glitter crease type of girl so so we're just gonna dab some right there and it just looks like this Boom. That's all, baby. That's all. Because, like I told y'all, I don't really know how to do these eyeshadows and stuff. So, we just gonna do what we can and get what we can and then not try to do what we can't. So, this is the eyeshadow. And, again, I used the Nudes of New York Maybelline palette. And I used the color Creator, Globe Trouter, and Believer to create this. Creator right there. Globe Trouter right there. And believer on the lid so yeah next we're gonna go in with the maybelline by new york master prime um primer and bait and primer little primer plus base burr plus smooth um i believe i got this from target and we're just gonna prime our face with it we're literally just gonna prime our face Ooh, I got it in my brow. That's okay. Y'all, it's so cold in my house, so that's why I got this sweat on. And if I turn the air down, girl, your girl gonna be sweating in here with all these lights. No matter what it's on. We just gonna keep it on, and we just gonna put a sweater on. Get out of my brow. Okay. And that's that for primer. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go in with our LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color... Where's the color? 
I'm going to just say orange. It does not have a color on here, so I'm just going to say orange because it is orange. And it's a color corrector for dark marks. As you can see, I'm going to cover my dark marks right there. Right here. And right here. I have dark marks right there from my glasses. As you guys already know, if you already watch my videos, I'll be explaining this in every video. But I have new, I be getting new subscribers, so I just be feeling the need to explain it again. So, yeah. And they say that it's good to set your um, color corrector, you know, because it's a wet product. So, I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it. Some people set it with orange. Some people set it with orange um, eyeshadow. I think that I don't want to set it with orange eyeshadow. I think I'm just going to set it with my um, MAC powder. My MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm going to set it like that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to set it like that. So I'm just going to take... Why is this in my brush? I'm going to take my um, Morphe 503 brush. And I'm going to get some of that uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm just going to consider it like that. Boom, and then that's how we're gonna set that. Now, we didn't done all that do. We didn't set our color corrector. Now we're gonna go in with our foundation. And my favorite drugstore foundation would absolutely positively have to be the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I use, this is matte and poreless, and I use the color Warm Coconut, which is number 356. This is my favorite um, drugstore this is my favorite drugstore foundation i feel like it's like the best foundation ever sometimes i use this foundation over my everyday um foundation which is the um the Too Faced born this way i really love their foundation as well but sometimes that maybe really fit me just hit you right you know what i'm saying it hit right in all the right places and it do what the fuck needs to be done so i sometimes pick this foundation and i really like it only thing, the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is it's just like a poor foundation. It don't have a wand or it don't have, you know, something like an applicator. You just have to like dab it onto your brush or however you put your foundation on. But other than that, this foundation is the bomb diggity. It's literally the bomb diggity. And what I like to do is paint my face with a flat brush first before putting on my foundation i just feel like it makes your foundation um full coverage as possible because um you're literally painting it on your face first so yeah and that's what i like to do and so and then I go in with my Sonia Cashua flat top foundation brush and I'll just blend that in and y'all I just love Maybelline Fit Me foundation I feel like it's top tier for sure and it's only like seven fucking dollars okay you get that whole tube of makeup for seven dollars so
It literally is the best. Like, girl. Literally the best. Okay, now we have our foundation on and you see how perfect it looks. We're going to go in with our concealer and for concealer, we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the shade 20 Sand. And we're just going to put it under our eyes right here. under the eyes on the bridge of the nose a little bit of on the forehead a little bit right here and a little bit on the chin okay now i got this maybelline fit me um concealer that we're going to use as contour and i got it in the shade 60 cocoa and we're just going to put a little bit right here right here a little bit on the forehead And a little bit on the sides of our nose. We're going to definitely blend out that um that contour first. I'm using my crayon case brush, my crayon case two-sided brush. I'm using the angled part with the brush to blend that out. I like to let my um concealer sit for a while and get a little bit tacky before I um before I blend it out. And then we put some on the forehead. Sorry if you guys hear like loud thumping. It's my daughter. She's like made a trampoline park out of her room. So yeah. Ooh. Okay. Her, her, her. Now I like to use this a wet and wild brush to um do the nose. Booyaka. And now I'm going to wait a minute. And now we're going to blend out our concealer and we're going to use this real technique brush in the shade in the not the shade. <laughs> but we're going to use this real technique soft accent brush and we're going to blend that concealer out. And as y'all know, I like to blend the outsides out first and leave the insides right there so it can get tacky some more. And while that's going, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and I'm not going to add any more product into it. And I'm just going to blend out those harsh lines. As you can see, harsh lines right there, right there, and right there. We're just going to blend it out without adding any more foundation. We're not going to add any more foundation. We're just going to use like the foundation that's already here. And you're going to blend it out. See how that blended out? They don't call me. They don't call me nothing. But <laughs> I don't call myself Miss Put It On for nothing. I'm going to put that makeup on, all right? If I don't do nothing, I'm going to put that makeup on. Y'all seen um 
light skin and Keisha, she be like, I'ma suck that head. I'ma suck that head. I'ma put that makeup on. <laughs> she is so funny. But yeah, we're gonna blend it out. Now we're going to blend in up here. And then I'm just going to go back in with that um, brush that we used for the contour. And just to find that line a little bit more because the concealer kind of took over a little bit and then we're gonna go back in with that foundation brush of course and then blend that out we're gonna do our nose as well okay now that the wet products are done we're gonna go in with the dry products now we're going to set our concealer everywhere we can still we're gonna set it with this maybelline fit me loose finishing powder and i have it in the say medium deep 30. so we're gonna oh it's so messy that's okay um and the way i like to set is on my beauty blenders where my beauty blenders where my beauty blenders here they go the way i like to sit is um i love sonia cashews from target's beauty blenders they're so um bouncy and they're so good and they do what needs to be done, okay? So I'm gonna Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Cashua Beauty Blender. And I have this small one. And I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush in the color. I mean, why do I keep saying color? This is a brush. I'm gonna go in with my um Real Techniques brush, the setting brush. And this is how I sit. I go back and forth, back and forth. So, and you can find both of these products from um, the drugstore. You can find both these products. Well, you can find these at Target, not Walmart. You can find these at Target as well, but you can also find these at Walmart. So, if you want to go to two stores, cool. But if you wanted to go to one store, go to Target and you'll find both of them. Okay, so first thing I like to do is I like to go in with my beauty blender. And I use this part for my chin. And I like to tap. And then we're going to get some of that setting powder. Dap, make sure you dap it off, girl. We don't want to look like a powder puff, girl. Put it on there. Wipe it off. Period. And we're going to do that everywhere that we put concealer. We're going to do that. The reason that we go in with the beauty blender first is because we don't, uh, we want to blend out our creasing. So you don't want to um, set creases. What's the point? Of setting a crease so you're going to go in with your beauty blender or your brush or whatever you prefer to use i like to use a beauty blender because i feel like it um smooths it out better than a brush and then you're going to set your um places you put concealer Okay, next step, because I didn't find a bronzer at um the drugstore. I couldn't find a bronzer. We're just going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer, my holy girl. Y'all know I love this bronzer. If you guys have any drugstore um recommended bronzers, let me know down in the description below. Because I really did try to find some. To the point my husband was like, baby, went down this. We've been in this beauty section in Walmart for like 20 minutes. So, yeah.
Okay. Now we're going to go in with our Morphe M23 brush and we're going to set our foundation with our MAC Studio Fix Powder and I am the shade NW50. Okay, now that we are done, we're going to set this face, bring a little bit more life back to our face, and we're going to use the Elf Matte Magic Mist and Set. That's the only um drugstore setting spray that I have, you guys. I thought I had another option. Okay, I do have other options. It's the Elf Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, but as you can see, I freaking lost, broke the, never even used, broke the top, don't know where the top is at. So we're going to use... um. I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Okay, so for the um, eyeliner, we're gonna go in with this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and it just looks like this. And we're gonna line our lash line with it. I don't really do too much liner. I just do a little one too. Okay, we better leave that alone before it just gets bad. You know, I, you know, if you know me, you know I can fuck up a liner. Okay, so we're just going to leave it at that because if I keep fucking with it, it's just going to get horrible. And for lashes, we're going to use the Glam Volume Sexy Eyelashes. I found these lashes on TikTok and they were so cute. And I got them off of Amazon and they look so cute on the girl who tried them on on TikTok. So, of course, I got me some. So we're gonna just use them. They come with like nine pair, I think, or six. They come with six pairs, so that'll last you a long time, especially if you're um, wearing them, like, you know, you're not throwing them away after one wear, which you don't have to do with these lashes. And they look like this, and y'all, they're so cute. They're so cute and fluffy. And I like to use the Super strong hole eye envy eyelash glue in clear. Just because I have jiggly hands. I, I don't like black liner because then it just gets messy everywhere and I just don't like it. So I'm just going to line my lash line with these. It goes on white and when it's dry, it's clear. And I'm just going to use my little scissors to cut the lashes to fit my eye. Just cut the little tails off. Honestly, that's really all you got to do. By the time I get done with that, my eyelash glue is going to be dry. That's how quickly... The eyelash glue dry. See, it's drying already, y'all. You don't want to um wait too late to attach this after it's dry because the glue will um get too dry and it won't stick. It won't be tacky anymore to where your false lash stick. And I'm just gonna use my little tweezers that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. They're holographic. Put it in the middle of the lash like this. Look down. And put the lash on in the middle with the tweezers. And then do the rest of the lash with your hands. I find that the easiest way to apply lashes, y'all, like that. 
And look at these lashes. They're so cute. They're so freaking cute. Ouch. These are so cute for Amazon lashes. Oh my freaking gosh. Like, I just cannot believe how cute they are. They look so cute. They're like giving me bad bitch, just like the girl on TikTok. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara, and I'm just gonna go under and get my real lash, y'all. They are so cute and long. I love them. They're so cute. And this is how they look. And then again, I'll leave them linked in below. This is how they look. But I'll leave it linked down below the lashes. I'll leave the, try to leave down link down below everything that I got in today's video. And now we're going to do our blush, which is the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Matte Matte. It's in the color Bang bang okay how you open this oh okay and we're gonna go in with our real technique um blush brush get a little bit on there or a lot of bit This is some good blush, y'all. I be like die hard crayon case blush blinder, but this is nice. It add a little sweetness to my face. I like it, okay? Okay, so now I be getting so excited towards the end of my makeup because I'm just like, bitch, this is cute, okay? So now we're going to wipe this lip stuff off of our lips because we're going to do our lips now. And I got a couple of things from... Uh, the drugstore my whips. I have this butter gloss, this NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline. I have a brown NYX lip liner and I have this Maybelline Superstay um, matte ink lipstick in the color Driver. I think I want to use all three of them. Actually, I'm going to line my lips with this and put this in the center and then put this on as a gloss. So let's try that and see how it works. Okay, and now we're going to go in with the lipstick. It's cute. I like it. Okay. And then we're going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Just put a little gloss on there. Okay, so this is the lips we created. And now we're going to go in with the Wet and Loud, wow, the little loud, Wet and Loud, Wet and Wild Highlighting Powder. And it just looks like this. It's so pretty. I think that, I thought that it was so pretty. So I got it. And then we're going to use our highlighter brush that we always use to highlight our face whenever I find it. It is the Morphe M441 brush. And we're just going to, period. <laughs> Period. Look at it, y'all. It's so cute. It's pink. I never used pink highlighter. It's cute, though. I'm fucking with it. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. I'm fucking with it, okay? I'm gonna do a little 
exclamation point, bridge of our nose. I like that. Oh my God, y'all, so this is the finished makeup look. I actually like it so much. Like, you could become a bad, okay, I'm gonna have to flat iron this because them clips, like, girl, you didn't have to bend my hair like that. Them clips did it, but. So, I'm gonna have to flat iron this later, but I'm not gonna flat iron right now because I don't feel like it. But, y'all, this is the finished look. Use it everything drugstore. Like, you could become a bad bitch by not spending a lot of money on makeup. Like, expensive makeup can get so expensive like it's a expensive habit to have to like do makeup and want to do makeup and learn how to do makeup but you can still become a bad bitch on a budget if you go to walmart and target to pick up makeup items now walmart and target can get a little expensive too but for the most part they're pretty much affordable so i recommend going to try out all these products i use in today's video i think that they did a great job and i came out with a cute makeup look and also check out these lashes from Amazon because girl, they are the bomb diggity. I think they're at like $12 and I got like six pair. When you go to a store to buy lashes or you order lashes, they're like $12 a pair. So, so make sure you check those as well. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up because likes do help my channel and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video video just comment down below what kind of video you want and i'll get it to you guys i promise you i'm gonna try to do better by posting every monday and friday y'all i be really trying okay but i just begin so wrapped up into life so and last week was a was a week for me so please forgive me i promise i'm gonna do better and like i said make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel and i love you guys oh so much and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video peace love and happiness Bye.